Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number 5 of the Sheffield Wednesday Cream Mode here on FIFA 20. Um, in the last episode, we played a couple more games. We played against um, Preston in the league and we beat them 2-1. Uh, I was very happy with that and in the game before that we beat Luton 1-0. So uh, two kind of scrappy games but we were the better teams and we uh, managed to get 6 points in that episode. Today we have uh, a cup game away at Preston, again that I was simulating, a uh, home game against QPR which I'll play and a two week break, then an away game at Huddersfield, yeah an away game at Huddersfield. Um, before we get into the games though I've had a suggestion in the comments to sign uh, Ethan Ampadu, now in terms of financial, um, I don't know why I put it scorekeeper, in terms of financial um, means we don't really have many so I might look to loan him in January. Uh, and then maybe hopefully get him on a permanent um, in the next season when we'll have more money to start with. Uh, now he is obviously on loan at Leipzig, but is he on loan? Or is he signed the permanent? I forget. I think he is permanent there. I think. Right. So if I scout him, everything does have a release cause of 3.7 million. We can't afford that, especially with uh, us looking to sign. Um, another player as well before the transfer ends. So yeah, um, I'll rotate the team a bit and uh, let's play this first game. Uh, sorry, let's send this first game against Preston in the cup. Before we get into this game, though, we have got the scout report on Michael Elise, uh, 65 rated, 17 years of age. He's a player that I'll certainly look to get at only 17. He can grow to be the star player for this. Uh, so um, I'll just put in an offer in. I put an offer in for him now. Uh, we should be able to afford him, well we will be able to afford him, to afford him re relatively easily um, He shouldn't cost much money at all uh, In terms of negotiations What's he worth? 975 I reckon we can get him for Let's try 600 He might, he might just accept that 890, okay I'm willing to pay that But as I try and uh, get as low as I can 750 with a 1% sound clause. Okay, not too sure why they've put that in, but hey, hey, that's FIFA. Uh, let's do the contract negotiations as well. These should go relatively smoothly. I can't imagine he's on more than one grand a week at most. 700 quid. There you go. Uh, we'll give him a prospect. He might want uh, sporadic. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Probably will get sporadic as well. Um, five year contract, that's fine. I'm not going to play in this first game because um, normally how it works in football is you don't play a player on the day they were signed. Um, so, yeah, you don't want to release clause, that's fine. Uh, in terms of salary, how about I offer him one grand a week with a sign of bonus of five grand? <laughs> he might just accept that. Yeah, <laughs> bless him. Okay, fair enough. We'll take that. Let's head into this. Oh, let's. Play this first game, simulate this first game, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a fully changed team. Um, I hope we can get th uh, three points. I'm not overly bothered, but hey, -ho. it'd be nice to get a win if we could. We lose far from penalties in typical Wednesday style. At least no one got injured. That's always a big worry for FIFA uh, that you're going to get an injured player. But yeah, let's head into this first game of the episode against Queen's Park Rangers. So yeah guys, this is the team, uh, it's pretty much the same team that's played the last couple of games, not really changing it around too much, hope we can get three points in this uh, first game of the episode against Queen's Park Rangers. Oh, it's not an awful effort but it take a lot to beat Kieran Lester from there. Hugo, oh, I guess it passed Kieran Westwood. How has he not saved that? It's the first mistake Westwood's made of the series. Oh, straight under him. OP near post. That's FIFA. <laughs> and no QPR. But look. He's got plenty of pace. Cuts back. Let's play through Forestieri. Blocks off the line. It's the closest we've come to scoring a goal in this game. I thought we were going to, to be honest. Oh, that's poor from Bannon. Half time, one on QPR, second half. Got to be there, it's as simple as that. 
Kadeem Harris. Should have enough pace to outrun the man, but he doesn't appear to. Has to put in a decent ball, but it's FIFA, so he can't score headers. We'll look. What a buyout. Longo. Porter. He's going to look to. I don't even know what he's going to look to do. Find Eze. <sighs> West Ham makes a save in their post. I might as well make that substitution. Jacob Murphy might as well not be on the pitch. He's been poor. I don't even think he's touched the ball. Corner. Paul Bannon doesn't clear it. Pew. Straight for Westwood. Eze. Oh my god. Hugo. Westwood saves. Oh my god, the rebound misses. This has been a poor game from me, and I've been partly unlucky because FIFA's shafted me a little bit. Hutchinson. Let's cut back. I've got nothing. He had no options. Oh. We're not going to get anything out of this game, I don't think. Sorry, Samuel. Cannot defend, and Hugo misses what is the easiest chance I've ever seen. I just haven't been able to break them down, and they've looked threatening on the attack. Forestieri. Oh, it's Sam Hutchinson. Plays to Forestieri, though. Forestieri equalises! Yes! I really did not think we were going to score this game. We still may lose, but... First year again. Five goals for the season, though. Good work from watching, to be fair. Does well to get it back, and that's a very decent ball. First year, I thought the touch had overdone it a bit, but he hadn't, and wow, it's a great finish. First year, he gets his fifth goal of the season. <laughs> I think he's already scored more than he has this season in real life. And he played as many games as well. John Lewis has got more space to run than I initially thought he would. Play through Forestieri. Can I get it back to Lewis? Yes, I can. Oh, but he's out muscled. Oh, and I thought he was going to get there, but he hasn't, and now he's out of position. Oh, but Reese will get there. I'll take a draw. Come on, Blue Whistle Ref. Take that. I will take that. A one will draw at home. We were poor that game. Lost damage limitations. I'll take that. Forestieri scores again. Probably got um, our best player rating. Look at that. Five shots, one on target. We were poor. We were really poor. Uh, who got the assist here? Yeah, Hutchinson. Match rating for Ashtier, we got a 7.8. Hutchinson got an 8.1. And he played about five minutes. Um, Murphy got 7.5. I really didn't think he was that good. Luongo wasn't his best. Bannon wasn't either. No one was, to be honest. Apart from Hutchinson. Okay guys, so it's transfer deadline day. I'm just going to count down the hours. I don't expect us to do much more. Uh, that's going to be transfer off of the first year. <laughs> nope. He has been by far our best player this season. There's no way that we're selling him. Uh, how much money have we actually spent this window? 12.8 million, that's a lot more than we normally spend. We've only sold currently. Uh, I was looking to learn out a couple of youngsters, but looks like that's not going to happen. But yeah, I'm going to count until there's one hour, and I'll come back to see if we get anything. On the one hour mark, we have a transfer offer. Joe Wildsmith. Hmm. Hmm. He wasn't someone I was looking to sell. He's only on 4k a week. 680 grand, we're not going to be able to get much more for him than that, it's already over value. I'm going to reject that. Yeah, we don't really need to sell him, I don't think we get anything from that. But yeah, chance window's over, uh, nothing else happened apart from that one deal. So yeah, uh, I'm quite happy with that chance window in terms of incomings, outgoings. I'd like to have a little bit, a little bit more, a little, few more people going out, but can't always have it that way. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this second game of the episode, away at Huddersfield.
You have a player injured here. I hope it's not someone important. Longo's up for six weeks. Oh. Of course he is. Typical Longo fashion. I'm going to put Reach in, I think. That's frustrating. Put up on the bench. Let's give Elise a go. Why not? Put him on quite a few training drills, so hopefully he can, he can improve in that time that Longo's out. Yeah, let's head into this second game against Huddersfield. That's going to be the only change I think from the uh, from the game. Actually, I might put in Windass ahead of Murphy. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Other than that, that's going to be the team to play Huddersfield away. Hope we can get three points. Look, I'm not too sure if that's Joe Willick's brother. So I wasn't aware they had a brother. Good work from Bannon. To find Kadeem Harris. Good work from Harris. His options. Find Forest Dairy back to Harris. It's going to be a chance here early on. Harris. Get there, Forest Dairy. <laughs> he does, of course he does. That man. That man. On fire this season. Brilliant work from Kadeem Harris and Forest Dairy. I'm not sure that touch was, but Forest Dairy gets there just about buries it. <laughs> Is that six goals now this season? Six, I think. Out of six games? <laughs> Something stupid like that. Yep, goal number six. Incredible. But a lovely ball. Perfect ball to find Kadeem Harris. Harris. Might as well shoot. Yeah, that was the only thing I could really do there. We've run a corner. I don't really have any other options. Corner. Isn't a bad one, but... <laughs> like the commentator said, no real challenge. Bannon. Let's find Windass. Windass. Find... Oh, I thought he was going to find Willock. Didn't manage to though. Brilliant head from Borna. Such a good player, Julian Borna, in real life and in this game. Kachunga. Jamal Lewis does really well. He's been solid so far this season. Half time 1 0. Happy with that. Bombards forward. Finds a lovely ball to find Kadeem Harris. Might as well shoot. That's poor from me. A couple of things I've done wrong this episode. Uh, this game, sorry. First area though. Oh! Oh, I should have gone down. Saves it. Win that, please. Someone know. Oh, first area should have gone down there. You would have won a penalty. Why not? That's why not. <laughs> first area. Let's play through reach. We'll get it to him. Lovely ball roll. Keep it. What? We've won a free kick. Schindler. Hope he's not making any lists. Not too sure what happened there. He could have played on. He still had the ball. He didn't even touch him. Okay. Dangerous free kick though. First Dieri. I don't know how to do free kicks in this game. Um. That. And a bit of that. Here's the wall. I don't know how to do free kicks in this game. I very rarely get any. Bannon. Oh, good header. Oh, great save from the goalkeeper. That was a good header, that. Harris. Go through Windass. Oh, I thought it was going to sneak through from the tackle. Nearly did. Bakuna. Mounier. Play through Bakuna. Westwood saves. Hutchinson for Reach, how long am I going to do that? Reach has actually had a very good game to be fair, but Hutchinson Hutchinson's a very solid defender, and I might as well bring on Forest, uh, a pender for Forestieri just to give him a bit of game time, so you can get his second goal of the season Six goals this season for Forestieri so far I'm very happy with that Borna heads away Munier He's a 
strong guy. Oh, that's a fantastic save from Westwood. Wow, that makes up for his mistake in the last episode, uh, in the last game. That was great. Oh, they are starting to press now. I'm just gonna get rid. Oh my god, that's an incredible ball. Pender. He's quick. He's very quick. Come on. I'll pace him. I'll pace him. No. He did really well up until then. The defender did well though. As well. Find Murphy. Will it get there? Oh my god, he will. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Went absolutely flying there. Jesus. Mounier. Hog. Mounier! Oh my god, he absolutely... I don't even know what he did there, but he missed. And that is full time, 1-0. <sighs> I thought they were going to score then. He should have. That's a decent strike, that's a goal. But we get three points. Four points from today's episode isn't bad at all. Reach, he was great. I'd give him man of the match. And uh, they're giving it Forest area, that's very enough. He did score. What did Reach get? And he only got a seven! That's so unfair. God, that's a low rating for Murphy and Appender. Jesus. But and what you said as well. That's a bit harsh, I think. Yeah, Bono, everyone was decent to be fair. No one really had a bad game. Quite happy with that. But yeah, it's been this post match interview, and after this, it'll be the end of the episode. Hope we can. Um, and carry with this rich friend of form in the next episode as well. We've been accumulating a lot of points. Uh, yeah, Bannon deserves all the praise. Didn't really notice him, but sure, why not say that? Uh, focus on next match. And anything could have happened. I don't want to get too cocky. But yeah, uh, it's going to end up this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe for more future content. We're just sitting eighth at the minute. 40 points after 7 games, it's not a bad ratio at all, um, but yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, um, supporting this series has been very decent so far, so yeah, thanks for that, and uh, keep comments coming in as well as who you want me to possibly sign either in January or next season, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, see you later, goodbye.